Hi there and happy National Historic Preservation Month. My name is Jenny Wolf and I'm the City of St. Augustine Historic Preservation Officer. Today, we're at the 1898 Historic Waterworks Building. For the past few years, we've been doing tours to celebrate National Historic Preservation Month of this very significant building. But this year, we're gonna do a virtual update. So come along and we're gonna show you what's gonna be happening with this next phase of construction. So what you're looking at in this photo that was taken about the 1915s uh, when this building was a pumping station for the city of St. Augustine Waterworks. You can notice on the very far left side of this photo that there is a circular basin that was actually a water storage tank. You can also see a driveway that goes through the center. And you also see a bay feature of this building that was the engineer's office. Well, if you take a look at the building now, you're gonna notice that that semicircular building no longer exists. These were the plans that were drawn up by local architect Hollingsworth in 1928 when the city no longer needed to use this building as a waterworks. So it was converted into a community center. And where we were talking about that semicircular building on the back half of the building, you can see at this point, it was converted into a music platform. That is one of the features that we're gonna be reconstructing in the next few months as we move forward in this historic rehabilitation project. So on this tour that we're taking today, we're not gonna go into every aspect of all of the construction and history of this building, but I do wanna share with you some of the things that we're gonna be working on in the next few months with our next grant project. And one of the biggest things that we're gonna to get to take a look at is what we're gonna do with the floor in the auditorium. So as you can see, there's been major rehabilitation work already on this building. And while we're taking a look inside here, I want you to notice the floor. It's very rough concrete shape right now. And in fact, we are trying to figure out what to put back on this flooring. There's a lot of questions that we considered, like what was there originally? And what would be the most appropriate thing to put back? The 1928 plans showed that this floor was terrazzo. You can see that we've done some a little bit of architectural investigation to try to figure out if there was any terrazzo still remaining down here. And the contractor that we were working with couldn't find ev any evidence of terrazzo on this floor. But there is terrazzo in other areas of the building, so we do know that there was some that was installed. None of that showed up here, so we had to decide then, where do we go from here? In the engineer's office, what later became bathroom facilities for this building, this actually was finished in terrazzo. What terrazzo is, is it's an aggregate, polished aggregate that's mixed in with concrete. And then you see chips of that aggregate in the finished surface. You can see that we actually have some molded terrazzo baseboard. And this went all around the entire office. So as a part of our project, we're going to have this restored and refinished. So it still didn't answer the question of what we we're going to do on this floor throughout this whole space. Do we have the money in this grant to put terrazzo all back in here? Ideally, that'd be nice, but it's not exactly cost effective. And we discussed a couple options with the contractor and the State Historic Preservation Officer. And we've come up with some really great options of using a different kind of aggregate. And it's something we see here all the time in St. Augustine anyways, it's the coquina shell. So we'd like to pour a concrete with coquina shell aggregate and get that polished up, and then we'll have a nice floor covering. So in the back half of the building, the flooring material that we see here are these concrete hexagonal tiles and uh, two different types of tent patterns and they were made across the street in the North City Stoneworks factory that's no longer there now. But we had to ask ourselves, was this the original floor finish? And a part of our research actually discovered from the 1896 building specifications that it did call out for concrete hexagonal tiles. So we do believe that this was the original finish. Now these are just set in loose sand, so they're easy to pick up and restore which is what we plan to do coming up in the next few months. And you can see that the bottom half, again, is that coquina concrete that we're all familiar with. 
And the top half is just a tinted concrete, just to add some uh, difference in the floor pattern. All the walls inside of the Waterworks pumping station have had some layer of paint and different kinds of treatment over the period of its lifetime. And during these next phase of grant funds, we're going to remove that paint. The contractor has put up some test strips of different paint removers that they've been using to see what's going to work best because you never know how many layers of paint are there. And you also have to remember that we're working with historic brick material and original plaster underneath. I hope you enjoy this brief visit inside the city's historic waterworks building as we give you a sneak peek of the preservation work that's going to be going on in the next few months thanks to the city's support as well as funds from the Florida Division of Historical Resources. For now, Happy Historic Preservation Month from the City of St. Augustine, and I hope you can find your own way to celebrate historic preservation and what makes St. Augustine special.